Hey, my little eight-legged wonder, the sun's peeking up over the horizon. It's time to rise and shine. Why don't you peek out too? Just like us humans, the Phidippus audix jumping spider, sometimes referred to as the bold jumping spider, has a hard time climbing out of its warm, soft, and cozy bed in the morning. This bed, or resting area, is much like that of a sleeping bag, and is the best in all the world, being made from the softest material known to man, silk webbing. Watch carefully now as the spider produces a little droplet of liquid silk. As soon as that hits the air, it turns into its web. It can use it as a drag line for walking along, or it'll plant that right on the object it's going to jump off of. In case it falls or misses its mark, it has a destination point to come back to by climbing on that web. Two characteristics unique to this spider is one, the large eyes in the front, especially the two right in the center. Now those eyes have binocular vision, which is just like yours and mine. At least it sees like you and I do. Has a very good eyesight. That's why it doesn't need to make any webs when it hunts. It just travels around like a cat stalking a mouse when it finds its prey. It jumps upon it and takes it down. Now the other interesting thing about this spider, you'll see right now, there's three white spots on the back of the abdomen. Sometimes these can be orange. The white coloration are from really tiny pieces of hair that make up the white coloring. The spider also has eight eyes. Like we said, two in the front, two on either side of that making four, and then two on the top of the head and two in the back. The other factor that we want to draw attention to is its green iridescent mouthpieces present on both the male and the female. When these hit the sunlight, like you see here, they glow. The little flakes or, or, or scales of color, when the light hits them, really shine up really nicely. In mating, the male will wave his jaws, or chalicera as they're called, those green mouthpieces. He'll wave those in front of the female, along with waving his two front arms, trying to do a special dance to grab her attention and maybe win her heart. What I really like about this spider, and possibly the reason it was given the name Bold Jumping Spider, is this spider will go boldly where no other spider has dared to go. This spider loves sunshine, just like you and I do. It will bask in the sun 
going almost into a state of unconsciousness, enjoying the warmth of the heat that the sun produces. That's why you can usually find the spider on the side of fences or the side of buildings where the sun is shining. Sometimes in certain poses, the head or carapace of the spider reminds me of the helmet of Darth Vader <laughs> from, <laughs> from Star Wars. <laughs> what you doing there? Checking out the camera? particular spider likes to climb on uh, fabric. It just gives a very good toe grip hold on the little claws on each little toe or foot of the spider to hang on to something that is uh, easy to grab. If you've watched uh, several of my videos, you're probably sick of seeing this, but I like to let spiders walk up my arms or get themselves tangled as they go through the hairs on my arms. There's a reason for, it, for that. I've learned that if I do that with a spider, it slows it down enough so I can focus in on it. And uh, they, they move so quickly, it's very hard to keep the camera focused on them. So that helps slow the spider down. distinguish the male of this species from the female. This is a female you're looking at. Uh, you'll note that the two front arms on either side, or legs I should call them, are thin. And then the two pedipalps on either side of the uh, green chalicera are kind of tubular. In the male, they come to a very bulbous or almost like boxing glove tips, which help identify the difference in the species. The male's two front arms are also very furry or hairy with brilliant white banding. Okay, that's enough learning for now. It's time for some play. I have an area made up of uh, artificial plants and flowers that the uh, Ephidipus audix, the jumping spiders, like to roam around on. And this would be what it'd be like in the wild. But at least in the home, I have, I, I'm not afraid of losing my spider, turning them loose in this artificial area I've given. And they will go around exploring just like they would outdoors. Once in a while, I'll stick a little cricket in some of the plants uh, for them to find and, uh, and grab for something to eat for a snack. But I'm going to be quiet now and just let you enjoy uh, the going abouts of a Phidippus audix as it takes a tour of its surroundings.
one last stroll through the hairy jungle and then uh, the next video coming up part three will be this Philips Audix making a discovery in my kitchen as I follow it around exploring with it what it discovers see you then